Oh shit, it's my... It's my, uh... My home, my original house. My, uh, childhood home. Why has he come here for? This is a bad idea. This is a very bad idea. You're gonna have all sorts of PTSD. I told, I told ya, I fucking told ya, PTSD! Hey boy, my name Billy, what's your name? Well, my name's Billy too, but my daddy says I'm not supposed to play with you. Well, why he say that? My daddy said that Negroes are a sickness on the community, and a bad influence, and dirty, and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colored to slaves and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine scouts. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. See, we aren't that different. Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, okay. Come on. See, you're gonna have, you're having PTSD, man. PTSD, it's not good. Remember you showed me the ring, Mama? For when I met someone special. Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. He's gonna have PTSD. <laughs> Come on! Look at this, Billy! Look at the rat fell in the mop bucket, now he can't get out! Look at that! <laughs> you drown! Probably. Well, save him, Billy! He's drowning! It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs, pooping in our cupboards. Well, he's dying! He's dying, Billy! Oh. <laughs> Give it CPR! Oh my god, she's Billy, no look! Billy! Come back! You didn't do did it, Billy. You saved his life. You old guy. How old was I then? Nine. I was nine. Nine. Maybe ten. Maybe ten. See, I was right. Ruby Weber. Who the fuck's that? Washington urges cooperation with liber liberator squads. Well, that sounds like a bad idea. Don't do that. Look at this bike. Gold. Got some gold. He's only in um he's only in some power armor. He's he's still got he's still got he's still got his legs. He's still got his arms. He's got everything. He's just really he's like crippled. So he's not really a robot. He's just in power armor. Frank's letter. Rip. I'm not reading. <laughs> if they want me to read, how about you fucking do it in an audiobook style? Then I'll listen to it. I'm not fucking reading. I can't, I can't crouch in the water. What's this over here? Another memory. Ah. Oh. oh, is this, is this the dog? It's a bit big for a dog, isn't it? The grave, don't you think?
Oh, he dug it himself. Holy shit. That's fucked up. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began. Bezzy. Huh. Now I'm angry. I don't like dogs. Don't die. <laughs> Even if it was a cat. somewhere Billy inclined to this day to endure amongst the living hmm was there any more memories a well I don't want to miss a memory oh dear Anything else? Don't think so. Just have a look around to make sure. Don't want to miss anything. Axe. Well, this looks like it was properly fucking textured. Jesus, what the fuck? This isn't Fallout 3 anymore. Jesus Christ, Bethesda. Fucking hell. Look at that. <laughs> Can I go further down here? I don't think that's it. Right, let's go to the house. Come on, you can jump over it. You did it before. Mama! Daddy! What's the goddamn ruckus? <laughs> and it how we they followed me! They they pinned me down, they took my pocket knife! What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property? They're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're gonna let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> Wonder what happened to his dad. 
Aunt Wilma's letter, dearest Rip, I hope that you're holding up well and cooperating with our new administration. I must say things are looking much brighter for us now. Your uncle has been promised a new job by the regime, a janitor at the new SS building in the city centre. He's very excited. It's a far cry from the machine operator job he used to have before he was fired all those years ago, but it puts bread on the table. So how's Sophia? I imagine that she's worried now, considering the circumstance. I hear the Germans have some issue with the Jews. Just a little bit. A little bit. I bet if she cooperates with them, everything will be okay. Yeah, I'll be fine. Be fine. Anyway, hope we can visit you again this summer. Love, Aunt Wilma. Be fine. Be fine. Nothing's, nothing's gonna happen. Be fine. Her rip. Blaskovich. 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 Thank you for expressing your willingness to operate with us. The more information you provide us with Jews and deviants, their location and so forth, the more rewards you will get for showing your loyalty. There may even be a chance to get a new place for you. In the future, I suspect there will be many vacant mansions that need to be occupied by those who are loyal to the Reich. I will look into these Frank and Archibald characters that were troubling you. Looking forward to hearing from you again. Herr Blaskovich. Hail Hitler. Oh dear. Did the fucking father fucking sell her out? Are you taking the piss? You don't get much more of a cunt than that, do you? Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. This is where I was chained up and made to shoot the dog. I'll be in the grave rotting away and still a better daddy than you. Upgrade kit, okay. Um, what should we upgrade? I can upgrade the hand grenades? Hmm. What about the pistol? I haven't used the pistol at all. Uh, what about the shotgun? Here we go. Uh, extended magazine. Doubles up the shot hammer magazine capacity. Uh, sharp null pierces ricochets when hitting a hard surface. I'm going to go for the extended magazine. Young Billy's note. The paper is bloodstained and wrinkled. I swear I will be a good boy. I swear I will not disobey my father. I swear I will clean up my room. I swear I will clean up the dishes. I swear I will act like a good man. I swear I will not disgrace my people. This text was written by an adult. Billy Blaskovich. This name was written by a child. Gold! Gold! Oh, it's, um... Like, figurines you can see, maybe? At, like, the main menu, maybe? Sebastian Dunn. These must be the developers of the game. I mean, that does not look like someone from the 1960s backwards, does it, at all? Doesn't that kind of, like, ruin the immersion? Like, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Fragment of old news article. Hmm. Why am I? I'm just here just to reminisce, I guess. Inspect BB pellets. Hey. Son, I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. I'm coming to kill Mama. All right. 
Here's what we're going to do. You take this. Wow. Now you and I are going down into the basement, and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? Another star card? Where? But there. Larry Johnson. That's gotta be. That's gotta be the developers of the game. Oh, there's another one. There's fucking two. Marty Lean. Hmm. Open bedroom door, exit the level. Okay. Is he looking for the ring? Ah, uh, okay. That's why he came in here. Place is gone to shit. Is that his, f his fucking dad still alive? What the shit? I ain't been down here in nearly a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. I'm in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? You need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I matter. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. Truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? Well, what happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. 
she gone? And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. Fucking kill the cunt. me that She's my here. heart is fucking my heart is fucking whoa, fucking hell jesus whoa i wasn't ready for that i wasn't ready for that at all disconnect the claws disable these claws how oh with a hatchet It's not the fucking mini game at the fair. Jesus Christ. I can't aim for shit. Okay. And <laughs> so what? Big fucking deal. Oh shit! I just fucking died. <laughs> I just fucking died. What the fuck? What killed me? I'm going down here now. Because run, huh? you wanted the ring. You, Anya. Oh my god. They're taking the armor off me. Would 
you like to kiss the bride now? But not before the wedding. Shake mit Schlaf. Jawohl. She's not actually gonna marry us, right? Meine Damen und Herren, wir haben ihn. Oh yeah. God! His mouth. Not my problem, it's Cezanne. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky Damn plan, straight. But the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got. All right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer. That pissed me off. But hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator. <laughs> Pop and Nazis, wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Will it work? Let's get this freak show on the road. <laughs> Oh, oh. Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. They got, they got tanks? We make it that far. We make it. The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey, hey, help, help, open the door. He fucking attacked me, man. He broke my nose and then he got out through that door right there. Fucking Terror Billy, he's on the loose. Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man. <laughs> No. Schnitt. Gott. Sie haben was? Sie haben Talent. Sie sollten zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. <lacht> Idiot. He was dead. As soon as you walked into the building. Tapfrer, kleiner Liebling. Ich bin dein und du bist mein. Liebling, so lieblich. But open your mouth. What's wrong with your hair? And your eyebrows? Oh. Oh. That's it. 
hot as it is. Shh. How does it taste? The gunpowder of the bullet that killed your friend. How does it feel? Do you love the taste? Oh. <laughs> you hear that? It's my attack force. Mm. Moving in on your friends in the garage. You're so boy. I'm gonna go down there now and join in on the fun. Anya. My family. So what the fuck are we gonna do? Weeks pass. Wow. Or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. 